If you break something when you're carving, it's the wood telling you, don't treat me this way. It's saying, <coughs> our relationship is going nowhere. And if you keep on doing this, I'm just going to split, I'm afraid. Harvard alumnus David Esterly has an intimate relationship with English lime wood. Many have called him the foremost artist in this medium since the 17th century master Grinling Gibbons. Esterly's works in lime wood render incredibly fine, delicate forms and can take a year or even two to complete. Yes, I designed my carvings, oddly enough, <coughs> and with a very advanced kind of technology, Adobe Illustrator. Uh, curiously enough, whoever invented Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop could have been a limewood foliage carver because it's all done in layers as my carving is done in layers. So I can highlight each layer and <coughs> drag things around to my heart's content. So you can extract each layer from the design, print it out to scale, transfer it to a board uh, using just carbon paper, band saw it out, and then carve it. An Adobe Illustrator design like this can become an elaborate wood carving like this. Lime wood is, just, is an oily sort of wood in a, in a funny way, um, and although it's only a carver who senses the oiliness in the sort of the way the chisel zips through the wood and the sort of s gleaming swath it leaves behind. And it also is aromatic. It has a sort of nutty smell. I, I noticed it every time I walked into the wood room. There's that distinctive nutty lime wood smell, which is also pleasing. These tools are mostly late 19th and early 20th century tools. For some reason, the steel seemed to be better then. It seems more flexible. You can get a better edge on it. Uh, and often the shapes are more exotic and more useful for technically demanding carvings. By imposing your will upon the wood, eventually as the piece progresses and you get past the halfway mark, it tells you what needs to be done to it. And um, instead of you being the male god imposing his will on this passive matter, the opposite is happening. It's becoming a terrible queen and telling you what needs to be done until by the end of the process you're tired of the slavery and you just throw your tools down and the piece is done.